employers are more at risk than ever for very large catastrophic jury and arbitration verdicts in a single plaintiff case. Plaintiff's lawyers um, are implementing two uh, theories um, to try to increase uh, the amount that they will recover in a jury award. But they've gotten into this whole idea that if we can get into people's primordial brain and get them scared like we used to do in personal injury cases, we can get big verdicts. And so that's, we've seen that translated now into the employment arena. Um, and we're seeing that more and more at trial and a lot of lawyers aren't prepared to handle it. And we, we see that that's creating the larger verdicts. Um, in a large respect, disproportionate to the damages. The trend we're starting to see in terms of plaintiff's attorneys at trial is using what we call the gatekeeper effect, which is where they implement creative strategies to hopefully get a judge to validate and lend credence to their expert testimony by having the judge introduce the expert or having the judge highlight the expert's experience. I think you need to do your research and lay out for the judge what's coming. A lot of the judges don't know this is coming and they're not prepared to rule on it. So we found it to be very effective by way of motions in limine to prepare the judge. We may or may not win, but we want to say, you know, so-and-so lawyer is going to do this. And in our experience, you've got to be prepared to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the plaintiff's counsel, flip that on them, and even use the reptile theory to your own advantage. In-house counsel can make sure that they invest in the resources up front to attempt to mitigate the potential risk of a catastrophic jury verdict. One HR person who can deflect and can, can solve problems and work with people is probably worth, you know, I don't know, a hundred lawyers. If your HR is in the mode of just going along to get along or thinking they're serving the, the, the C-suite by saving costs up front or whatever, you're, you're gonna pay for it tenfold over on the back end. Be honest about your witnesses. Remember what you thought about them the very first time you met them. Not after you've known them for a year and you kind of, the rough edges have come off, but think about how you hated them. In an employment case, it's pretty simple. If they like the plaintiff and they don't like you, you will lose. If a, a case goes to trial, the actions of the company not only will be looked at, did it violate the law, but also does this align with what the public perception is of this company? It really is as simple as treating your employees the way you would want to be treated. Uh, treating them fairly, knowing that someday if you make a decision, a juror may be sitting in, in, a, in a courtroom evaluating their decision and uh, you better be able to defend it to a member of the public.